So we've made some significant changes to the model now. We've moved the tank right back here. Previously it was under this area here, so it was close to the motor spray bar, but we've moved it right back so it's not too far in front of the CG, which means we'll have less trim change during flight. Tank size is the same, but I may increase it later if this all works out to be good. Now what I have done though, is we've got, see we've got three tubes coming out of the tank now. You can see on the front of the thing here, there's three individual tubes. We've got a, a fuel drawer, a vent, and a recycle tube so basically what's going to happen is over here let me just take a look at what we got here just get my glasses out of the way here we go um here we've got a fuel pump the fuel pump i showed you last time and that's driven by this esc it's a brushed esc uh, that'll go off to the battery and we've got the servo lead here will go off to the receiver so i can tune the amount of fuel flow that will give us the ability to sort of just um compensate and perhaps even just um use it as a motor shut off because when I stop the fuel flow from the pump the motor will go lean and stop. I've also got somewhere on the table here, which I've, oh, here it is, um, that's our return system. So we're going to have fuel coming from the tank into this Y junction and then going back to the tank and then the excess or the amount that motor needs will come out of this third hole here. So the motor will draw out of this. So the outlet of this will connect to our flow regulator, which I've lost. Damn, I hate it when that happens. How could I lose anything on this bench? Tell me, it's impossible. As I said, our flow regulator here, and our flow regulator has to be mounted as close as possible to the engine because the, any difference in height between the flow regulator and the engine is the same as having your tank at a different height. So that will uh, provide us with the necessaries. So I'll be mounting this probably up um, close to the motor. I've got the plywood plate that is normally used on the XUAV here. That's going to go in there, and I'm going to mount my pump beside it there. I'm going to mount all the electrics inside the uh, inside the fuselage there. So yeah, that should do it. And then the motor, of course, will mount in the usual way. I may be able to move the motor a little bit further back because now I've got the battery right up here before the battery was down here by the receiver. And so we should get the uh, system all up and going very quickly. Let's hope so. Do a jump cut to the testing, shall I? Here we go. Out of the way. Um, right, oh, you've already got the spark all lined up and everything, Tim. You're onto it, mate. So, let's go to pump, sweet, see if we get any fuel through, oh it's coming through, sweet. right spark on, a bit more pump pressure,
Setting the grass on fire. <laughs> I don't know why it pitched over a little bit. Um, I don't know, it pitched quite violently. It's quite a violent pitch down. It was a level throw, eh? Yeah, yeah. It just. Maybe the high thrust line? Yeah. Could be the high thrust line. Because the thrust line is quite high on that. Hmm, okay. Well. <laughs> you're all. You're all tuckered out, mate. Oh, a bit of gluing to be done, but apart from that... <laughs> Once again, back to the drawing board! <laughs> <laughs>